Salve to Omne. Uh, welcome to this video lesson on Capitulum uh, Septimum, Chapter 7, titled Puella et Rosa, The Girl and the Rose. We can see uh, Marcus et Quintus ante Ostium in front of the door. We can see Julia in margine, in the margin. Um, let's see. Lacrima is tear, and we see she is crying about something, don't know why. Oculus, new word for eye. Speculum, a new word for mirror. All right, let's see what happens. Ecce, Marcus et Quintus, ante osium we lie. Look, Marcus and Quintus, in front of the door of the villa. Corri, Julium expectant, the boys are waiting for Julius. Now remember Julius and four of his slaves had gone to Tusculum, but they're on their way back, and um, they should be here soon. Mater non est apud filios, the mother is not with the sons, or with her, yeah, her sons, rather. Uh, ea in perestulo est, she is in the peristyle. Remember that's the courtyard, which is kind of in the back of their house. Ilic virum suum expectat. There she is waiting on her husband. Now expectat, expects is sometimes uh, okay to translate it, but to wait or await is probably better most most of the time. So there she's waiting on her husband. Emilia laeta non est. Emilia is not happy. Quia Julius abes because Julius is away. Nam Emilia virum suum amat for Emilia loves her husband. Ubi est Julia? Where is Julia? In cubiclo suo est. She is in her bedroom. Julia, quae sola est, ilic. Julia, who is alone there. So ilic is a new word meaning there or at that place. Rosam ante nasum tenet. Holds a rose in front of her nose. Okay? Uh, Puella lacrimat. The girl is crying. So, lacrima is the noun for tear. Lacrimat is the verb cries. Now, we had plorot earlier for cries. There are a lot of words for crying in Latin, apparently. There's a lot of bad stuff going on because they cried a lot. <laughs> okay. So, plorot, lacrimat both mean cries. Lacrima is the word for tear. In oculis eius sunt lacrimae. In her eyes, or the eyes of her, the eius here is going to refer to Julia. In her eyes, there are tears. Lacrimae, notice, is the plural of that noun for tear. Julia speculum sumit. Julia picks up the mirror. Et ante oculos tenet. And she holds it in front of her eyes. Puella se in speculo vedet. The girl sees herself in the mirror. So say um, that preposition takes different meanings in different contexts. Here, the subject of the sentence is Puella, girl, so say is going to be herself. If the subject was Quintus, it would mean, say would mean himself. If the subject were, for example, Serwi, the slaves, then it would mean themselves, right? If the subject were the mirror, then say would be itself. So it just reflects whatever the subject is, and that's called a reflexive pronoun. In English, these are himself, herself, itself, themselves, okay? In Latin, there's just one word, and it takes different meanings in the context. The girl sees herself in the mirror, et se interrogat, and she asks herself, es ne foidus nasus meus? Is my nose ugly? Remember, Marcus had made fun of her nose, so she's kind of self-conscious now. Nasus eus autem formosus non est. Moreover, or however, her nose is not beautiful. Okay, so our narrator, mm, he doesn't exactly say it's ugly, but he doesn't say, he says it's not beautiful, right? So apparently, according to the narrator, I don't know if we can trust him or not, is this a trustworthy narrator? He says it's not pretty. Julia rursus lacrimat, Julia cries again, okay, because she looks at it and she doesn't think her nose looks good. Sura ostium cubicli pulsat. Sira knocks on the door of the bedroom. Ostium is the direct object. Cubicli is that genitive case of the bedroom. Julia then says, Intra, enter. 
Sura ostium in aperit, she opens the door. Et in cubiculum entrat, and she enters into the bedroom. Neque ostium posse claudit, nor or and not. So, and she does not close the door, ostium, behind herself, posse. Julia siram posse in speculo videt. Julia sees Sira behind herself, posse, in the mirror. Okay? She's got her back turned to her, but because she's got the mirror in her hand, she sees her. Sura non videt lacrimas Juliae. Sira does not see the tears of Julia. Non puella se non vertit. For the girl does not turn herself. Okay, she's not turning around yet. Sira then says, Oh, he kes mea puella. Oh, here is my girl. Okay, so he and Ilik are opposites. He is here at this place. Ilik is there at that place. Weni in hortum, Julia. Come in the garden. Come into the garden, Julia, she says. Okay, next page. Julia imperat claude ostium. She orders, close the door. So aperi is open. Claude is a command for close. Anquila paret. The maid servant obeys. Okay. So paret, by the way, is the opposite of imperat. Orders for imperat. Paret obeys. Then Julia says, Num nasus meus foiduses sura. Surely my nose isn't ugly, Sira, or my nose isn't ugly, is it, Sira? Okay, the num indicates you expect or imply a no answer. So she really wants Sira to say, no, your nose is good looking, right? That's what she wants in her heart, right? And then Sira says, foidus, ugly? Imo, formosus es nasus tuus. No way. Okay, imo, if you look it up in a dictionary, which tend to have kind of antiquated meanings, it'll probably say something like nay rather, um, or on, on the other hand, it, it basically negates something strongly. In English, we probably just say today, no way, right? So no way, your nose is beautiful. Formosus is a synonym for pull care. Uh, you could also translate it as shapely, good looking, something like that. Julia say it. she turns herself. Yam sura lacrimas widet. Now Sira sees the tears. Sira then says, Quid est mea Julia? What is it, my Julia? Terge oculos. Wipe or dry your eyes. Now the verb terget, wipes, or terge here in the imperative form, uh, wipe as a command, that verb is where we get detergent from. Detergent, of course, is used for cleaning things, right? So wipe or clean your eyes. In other words, get rid of the tears. Es laita. Be happy. Nasus tuus tam formosus est quam meus. Okay, now this is probably not the best thing to say. She says, your nose, nasus tuus, is so beautiful, tam formosus, or you could just say as beautiful, as mine, quam meus. Now why is that not the best thing to say? Remember we have already heard from the narrator and seen in the pictures that poor Sira does not have the best nose. Okay. Um, and then Julia says, Sed nasus tuus non formosus es. But your nose isn't beautiful, isn't uh, good looking. And then Sira says, Quid? What? Non e formosus es nasus meus. My nose isn't beautiful. Now, the none expects a positive, you know, so she wants her to say, yes, your nose is beautiful. That's not, of course, what she's going to say. All right, Julia says, Imo, foida says, no way, it's ugly. Eke speculum, Sura. Look at the mirror, Sira. Okay, and we can see mirror, uh, the mirror there, and Sira is not really looking into it. She's closing her eyes. Hmm. Julia speculum tenet ante Suram. Julia holds the mirror in front of Sira, quae nasum suum in speculo vedet, who sees her nose in the mirror. Anquila oculos claudit et taquet. The maid servant, Anquila, closes her eyes and she is quiet. She stops talking. Eh, I think she's a little depressed. Maybe she doesn't look in the mirror very often. 
Now, Roman mirrors would not have been glass with the with the shiny backing. They probably would have been polished bronze or polished silver, most likely. Eke Julius ad vilam advenit. Look, Julius arrives at the villa or comes to the villa. Notice that this word advenit comes from ad meaning to and when it meaning comes. So comes to or arrives at the villa. Servi lecticam ante ostium ponunt. The slaves place the litter. Lectica, remember, is the litter or sedan chair or palanquin, kind of uh, mobile chair thingy, couch thingy. The slaves place the litter in front of the door. Pater filio salutat. The father greets his sons. Salvete filii. Hello, sons. Et a filii salutator. And he is greeted by his sons. Hello, Father. All right, so let's stop there. We actually got a little bit into section two. Um, I hope that you um, learned a few things here in this chapter. Um, we have some new vocabulary like formosus and emo, speculum, oculus, uh, lacrima, lacrimat, and so on. Walete, till next time.